Matt came to Canada in the late 60s, 1967, as a young bachelor. He had his master's in economics, um, really smart guy, but at the time, the only jobs you could get here were gas station attendant, things like that. So that's what he started off doing. Really saw a need to get ingredients from back home. Started bringing in things that were not readily available here, like turmeric and garam masala. He used to call back home, get these packages sent, little tiny packages from family and friends. Um, other family or other friends here started noticing and then they wanted to get more things. So then these orders got bigger and bigger and bigger until he decided to open up a shop in 1971 uh, at Queen and Bathurst downtown called India Food and Craft. After, ever since then, he basically started supplying restaurants, supplying other businesses with their food ingredients and now it's, uh, it's where it is. My name is Rajdani Jain. I born in India, a state of UP in Meerut. I pray to the God, I want to go to Canada. How it can be possible? You know, in our family, nobody is uh, out of country. Then it worked out and I got married with no Jain. He came to India and got married with me. I was very excited because I heard Canada is a land of opportunity. I thought I will get the opportunity. You can wear whatever you want. You can go anywhere where you want. These things I really wanted. Every day I learned new, new things. Two, three, four people were working in our store and they were like our relative. I used to cook and pack and sell and talk to the public. I love to work. Love shows I was always happy. You know, uh, customer comes, I'm laughing. I I'm really enjoying, I'm laughing. So everyone say, oh, we want to go to that laughing girl. And that Mr. Jen is so nice. So they tell uh, one to each other. We did not advertise so much. We did not spend so much money in advertising. Early days was very, very rough because, you know, I used to cook and everything. 16 hours a day, we work hard. My body weight was 90 pounds and I used to uh, put the 50 kilo bag on my back and uh, take him in the basement because I want to do maximum. I missed a lot. Uh, my family, my parents, my brother, sister, but my focus was not to miss them. Well, me and my siblings, my two brothers, we all grew up in the business. It really, the business was a second home for us. I'm the oldest, so I have memories of being in a playpen. Um, me and my brothers used to play in the warehouse, jumping around on the spice bags. Even my first job, my very first uh, informal job was working in the business, you know, as young as 10, 11 years old, helping my parents. It's interesting that I'm back in the business now, uh, full time. We grew up in a kind of pretty nice neighborhood at the time. Um, and at the time, a pretty nice neighborhood just didn't have a lot of ethnic people there. We did experience some racism, like people calling my dad names, which I don't want to repeat, um, unscrewing our Christmas light bulbs. When I was a teenager, I had my tires slashed. But then things, you know, slowly got better over time, more immigrant communities and, and, and mostly just fond memories for me. We faced a lot of adversity over the years. The whole situation with the fire was a very, very difficult time for us. But we accepted what had happened and we took it as a clean slate and we made it an opportunity to make it the store of our dreams. I'm so proud of the way it looks now. We put a lot of blood, sweat and tears. It was, you know, like birthing a baby. It was nine months that we were closed, almost 10 months. And it's so beautiful now. It's kind of like a, you know, ethnic Whole Foods vibe. And we're just so happy. People are gonna use more and more spices. It's a healthy way to, you know, make your food taste good without putting sugars and fats and oils and all of these things in there. Um, so for my sister, it's how to use these things. For me, it's how to get them. Um, and I think we work well together because of that. 
Uh, we joke around a bit because I think I'm kind of like my dad, the way that we handle things and we go about uh, just business and life, we're very similar. And I think my, my sister's a little bit more like my mom. Uh, and so it's, it's funny to see that. And the next generation, um, we, we both have a little bit of their personality. Uh, and I think that's what keeps that balance. And it also lets people know that we're still a family business. I've known Ravi since high school and we've been working together. So it's pretty great to know the family and it's awesome being part of a family business. I came to this country as a new immigrant and I joined this small business and it helps me not missing my family over there and it's fun working over here. Everyone knew my parents, they still know my parents because they're one of the first, but also back in the day, there weren't that many Indian stores, there weren't people importing items, and so they followed my parents. I've been a customer of the store since 1974 when we first came from Africa. I know the owner, Vinod, and he was a real gentleman. Nice to come back. Uh, I think because my parents were, were risk takers and they did something different, uh, that inspired me to, to be that way. There really aren't enough words for me to explain how thankful we are to our parents for everything they've done, coming to this country, building a life for us, sacrificing for us personally and for the business. The foundation we have in the business, it's so much more than just something financial that we've been able to build up on. My parents dealt with so much adversity, so many things, leaving their families, coming to a new land, dealing with racism. I, I think sometimes what that this is an alternate reality. My life could have been so different easily if my parents had chosen not to leave India.